this is me, Rabab Zehra from TechX Media. I have with me Ravi Sarogi. He is co-founder and president of Unifor Software Systems. And about Unifor uh, Software Systems, uh, Unifor is a company that uh, specializes in uh, conversational automation. And they actually combine conversational artificial intelligence, workflow automation, and robotic process automation to transform and democratize um, uh, customer experiences across industries. Uh, but this is um, very less of what they actually do. So we will talk to the co-founder and president of the company today and we will know more about what Unifor is doing and they have recently stepped up in, um, in Middle East region so we will get to know more about their presence in the region and what they do without further ado let's welcome Ravi hi Ravi how are you I'm good Rabab thank you for having me on your show how are you doing today I'm I'm great and it's a pleasure to have you uh, with us today um so Ravi, um, as I mentioned that um, Unifor has recently entered in Middle East region and Middle East is a great market to explore. So tell us about, uh, uh, tell us more about it and how has this year been for Unifor and what, uh, were your key, what were your key takeaways from the same as we are about to enter in 2022? So thanks for your question, Rabab. Uh, 2021 has been a very, very strong year for Unifor, right? With uh, several milestones that uh, we have gone through and achieved. Uh, number one uh, would be the expansion of new geographies itself. As you mentioned, we entered the Middle East market this year. Uh, we have our own team out there in uh, the Middle East region, in Dubai, in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and of course, in other parts of Middle East. Uh, from the company's expansion perspective, beyond adding new geographies, which of course is Middle East being part of, we also expanded to Australia, some parts of Europe, and in Japan market as well this year. Uh, we also doubled our headcount uh, within the year of 2021. So it's basically like adding another company within a company in a year alone, right? Hiding of C-suite executives, which includes the CFO, CRO, and chief human resources officer, all the new board members that have come on board this year, like so Andrea Ayers and John Chambers uh, have enabled the company to grow lips and bounds over the last four or five quarters. If you look at from business perspective, Rabab, the, the business have grown significantly in the last four or five quarters. In fact, the last five quarters have been the best and most strong five quarters in the company's history. Wow. Beyond uh, the organic growth uh, that we have gone through. The company has also gone through its own inorganic growth process as well. Uh, uh, we went ahead and acquired a company called Emotion Research Lab based out of Spain, uh, which added the might of video AI into the overall technology stack of Unifor. And also we acquired a company called Jakarta, which added low code, no code, and AI RPA capability into the platform as well. Uh, while we talk about the organic and organic growth and we talked about the expansion, geography, people, et cetera, the company has also gone through a round of funding, the Series D funding that we did uh, some, some time back, Unifor raised a total of 150 million US dollars, bringing our total funding to about USD $210 million overall as an organization. Uh, we also, uh, Rabab, just to ensure that we are growing and growing in, in equal proportion across different various markets, across different products. Unifor also went ahead and launched its own partner program called Unite. And Unite mm -hmm. program, Partner Program is basically enable to support the rapidly expanding market where the benefits of arti artificial intelligence and automation can not only be directly enabled for our enterprise customers through Unifor's own presence, but also through its partner presence. That's that's interesting. So uh, Ravi, um, artificial intelligence is uh, like um, uh, the most uh, trending technology at the moment. How are you leveraging technology like artificial intelligence and automation to benefit industries and organizations? Well, the premise of uh, large enterprises where they are driving consumer behavior and they're driving consumer uh, related products and selling to consumers, providing great customer experience, et cetera, the entire premise depends on the conversation. 
And when you talk about conversations, whether it is with customers or is it with employees, at the very core, every business have a lot of conversations flowing around, right? As a human being, uh, we as a species like to talk. And whenever we talk, there's a lot of information enabled within that particular input. Uh, there is an emotional input, there is a textual input, uh, there is a behavioral input, right? And organizations today are surrounded by those conversations. The idea is to figure out how one can leverage those together in a way where it can really provide enterprise-wide benefits, right? And Unifor today empowers organizations to unlock the power of each and every communication through the use of AI. What we have in place, Rabab, is our integrated conversational automation platform, which combines conversational AI, workflow mm -hmm. automation, robotic process automation, low-code, no-code capabilities, and an extremely business-friendly UI UX layer, uh, which not only democratizes the overall enablement of the product, but also democratizes the entire customer experience, right? This empowers the contact center agents to deliver highly effective, personalized, and empathetic interaction when they are in conversation with their consumers. Now, uh, we talked about conversational AI and the benefit that businesses today can gather in multiple different ways uh, by, by working across different phases of how conversation goes through. One would be to focus on the agent itself. How do you augment the agent capabilities as they are speaking to the customer in real time mode by giving them right assistance, emotional analysis, and right. all the promises that they make, how do we augment that? Second, for consumers, how do you personalize the service, which is more relevant to them by applying conversational AI, natural language processing, machine learning, all coming together in regional language. For example, in the Middle East market, this would work well in different dialects of Arabic, English, but if you look at, for example, uh, UAE, UAE today uh, is a huge cosmopolitan mix up of various different cultures, et cetera, coming together. So people have language requirement, which can be in Urdu, in Arabic, in English, in Hindi, in Malayalam, et cetera, Filipino. And, and the product should work in their own regional language when they interact with the platform and provide them personalized information, right? Third would be how do you as an enterprise drive more sales efforts and drive more marketing behavior through your contact centers and move them away from a cost center to a profit center. And that's where conversational AI additionally plays a huge, huge role. Uh, when we talk about uh, a conversation that happens between an agent and a customer in a contact center, the benefit that a voice input provides to their above uh, which is very unlike a chat application or an email application, voice comes with an inherent enablement of emotion attached to it, right? For example, if I tell you, how are you doing today? You will interpret that as a question and you will send mm -hmm. me a response, I'm doing okay. Yeah. If I say the same sentence in a different way, right? What are you doing today? And <laughs> that, basically would uh, reflect as a, a, a negative emotion and an yeah. anger. And then you would revert to that in a very different way. So the same question with a different kind of emotion has a very different meaning. So emotional AI is something that organizations can leverage to really understand their customers better, deliver them the right kind of experiences. Apart from that, multiple other things like low code, low code, enablement, which allows enterprises to really create, create their own business flows, own workflows, et cetera. Promise management with the enablement of RPA can help organizations not only deliver the, uh, not only ensure that the promise is made to the customer, but that promise is delivered as well. And then we look at agent authentication, especially with the work from home scenario. When agents are largely work, working from home, how do you ensure that the right agent is picking up the call and no other family member or a friend is picking up the call to ensure security is enabled. So we do a lot of voice-based agent authentication as well as that conversation is flowing. So yeah, I mean, lots of things that we today leverage from AI and machine learning perspective and deliver it to our large enterprise customers. Um, 
quite interesting. In fact, it's uh, like uh, very amazing to know uh, about all these features. Uh, so, uh, Ravi, moving forward, you talked about Unifor Unite, um, and um, TechX is a media platform um, who is uh, which is moving forward with the responsibility of combining all the stakeholders of technology industry at one platform. So, this is my favorite question to ask um, uh, from a brand: is that uh, in what ways you are assisting your partners um, with your Unifor you know, Unite initiative? You have uh, talked a little about it, but can you please elaborate? more on it? Certainly, uh, uh, Rabab, this goes a long back when we started expanding our market within India first and then expanded globally. Uh, the idea of expansion was carried out through our own feet on street and ensuring that we have local presence in multiple different geographies. But uh, the realization came as the company started to grow multifolds across different geographies and there have been a lot of partnerships that Unifor has created over the years the idea was to figure out how do we leverage the partner network right to not only expand the horizons and enterprise customers of Unifor but also deliver to those enterprise customers through this partner network so today if you look at one third of our Unifor business is executed and committed through the growing partnership network that we have now if you are going fast, you typically go alone. But if you are going far, the idea is to go together, right? Yeah. And at Unifor, we put, we put together the Unite program to aim of combining speed and a long-term view coming together, right? Uh, the program takes all our programs and best practices and offers, and it is replicable playbook across all our partners across different geographies. Now, we think of, uh, economics of these programs to be such that every dollar that Unifor makes today with our products or services, our partner ecosystem makes five. Unifor projects its earnings and cash flow over the next three years to be upwards of half a billion dollars, right? And so this translates, translates to a huge opportunity for our channel partners as well. Now Unifor Unite program offers a range of programs to support each partner's business model, including referral, resell, managed services, co-selling, and pure services as well. Partners who join Unifor's Unite program will benefit from the program in numerous ways, including significant partner resources, partner help desk, marketing development funds that we have set aside for our partners, a partner advisory council, and our app alliances program, which has come together through this, through this entire ecosystem. Interesting. So it is bigger than it than uh, it appears, and I think yes. uh, being in the tech industry, um, like this, is the most important part to support your partners because that's how you move forward. So um, as um, I uh, mentioned earlier, that we are about to enter in 2022. What should we expect from Unifor in 2022, and what will be your strategy for Middle East region? Uh Rabab, for us, uh, given the acquisitions of Emotion Research Lab in Jakarta, Unifor has broadened its value proposition beyond the contact center. And we are excited to work with our customers on conversational AI, automation, and other use cases in their businesses today. As I've told, conversation is today at the heart of the organization. And how enterprises leverages that conversation within the organization and outside will go a long way in terms of on their own strategies as well. And uh, as, as Unifor has evolved from a pure play front office automation player now to a complete conversational automation platform, we are today the only platform which has voice and video AI along with RPA automation coming together. So that gives us a complete uh, horizon of covering the entire value proposition beyond contact center across the enterprise, across multiple different uh, verticals. Now, in the Middle East, we continue to focus engaging with multiple different verticals, including banks, BPOs, telecom, insurance organizations, e-commerce companies, and of course, the government. Uh, from a technology standpoint, our focus is to enable our customers to leverage, uh, uh, leverage the entire treasure trove of data uh, that they have across customer patterns of behavior and using technology to analyze 
and provide both operational and business insights. Unifor's products today, like Unifor's UNLIs or UAssist, uh, which has both real-time capability and desktop automation enabled into it, can analyze both Arabic and English voice data and help businesses learn from different kinds of conversations that are coming in a contact center environment. Thank you so much, Ravi, for uh, um, this wonderful information. And uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, it was a pleasure uh, having this uh, conversation with you. And soon I look forward to meet you in person and we will um, have a detailed discussion. We will learn more about uh, what Unifor will be doing at that time. Absolutely, Rabab. Looking forward to our meeting in person soon. Hopefully, I'll yeah. be able to travel. Cool. And as, yes. as soon as that is done, I'll be there in the Middle East region as well. Yes. Um, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Stay tuned to TechX to know more about what is happening inside the technology industry. Goodbye.